In 1977, we made the first plans for an overland tour through Africa. 37 years later, the dream became reality. We spent four years on the road, traveling through five continents. Our journey came to a sudden stop in Southeast Asia, due to Corona. We have hit the road again, but nobody knows where and when our voyage will end. In the previous episode we visited places around Chiang Mai in North Thailand and went to Thailand's most important excavation, Sukho Thai. Today we'll go down for some 200 kilometers uh, to Ayutthaya. Uh, Ayutthaya was the capital of uh, Thailand for about uh, three centuries until it was uh, sacked by the Burmese. And there's still uh, a lot of uh, historical buildings and ruins uh, to be seen there. A bit comparable to uh, Super Thai. We have arrived in Ayutthaya and this is uh, our room. Uh, so we uh, rented some bicycles again. These ones are better than the, the last ones, still not very large, but at least they run more smoothly. Okay. You want some rice? Yes, please. Yes. One, one bread? Yeah. yeah, I think, I think okay. it's okay. One, one, one bottle, two glasses. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's one good. bottle, two glasses. Yeah, and that's uh, from the Mulukai. Yeah, Seafood in Yang Kakonet and fried cream. After a dinner in a fine seafood restaurant, we walk through the night market. We are now at the evening market of uh, Ayutthaya. This market is much more focused on uh, locals rather than the tourists that we've seen all before. And you see the kind of uh, merchandise. No souvenirs, just food that only the Thai eat and entertainment such as selling food for children to feed the animals. Today we will make a cycle tour in Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya was the capital of Siam from 1350 until 1767, then it was uh, sacked by the Burmese. And at its heydays it had about uh, 400 temples. Today about 12 of those have been partially restored and the rest you will see as uh, scrambled, naked stupas, uh, beheaded Buddhas, etc. The central part of Ayutthaya is uh, surrounded by a kind of a canal, so it's what's called the island where most of the sites uh, are and that can easily be done uh, by bicycle. We will now have a look at Wat Ratcha Burana and this is what it will have looked like in its original uh, shape. The main pagoda is made of brick and decorated with stuccos. There are staircases leading to three porches. Each porch is decorated with a small pagoda. 
the pagoda is surrounded by low walls and connected with the sermon hall and the ordination hall, which are in the architecture style of the early Ayutthaya period. Valuable treasures were found inside the chamber of the pagoda. We are now entering Wat Mahatat. A Buddha's head can be found in three roots. The head was once part of a sandstone Buddha image which fell off the main body. It was gradually trapped into the roots of a constantly growing Bodhi tree. The stone head has a rather flat and white facial structure with thick eyebrows and big eyelids, reflecting the art of the middle Ayutthaya period, presumably around the mid 1600s. What we notice is that everything looks so very clean. The lawns are very well manicured and you don't see stacks of uh, loose stones. Apparently the rest rem remainders of the Buddhas were just put together. So what you see is that uh, the body and the head and the legs do not fit together. They are not from originally from the same Buddha, but it gives an impression what it has looked like. We see tourists on elephants. Elephant riding is not good for the animals. That is why we do not take a tour. Back in the hotel, Margriet is busy with some band weaving. The nice thing about it is that the loom is small enough to take in the car. In the afternoon we go back for the sunset. We take binoculars with us because this morning we have seen more birds than we did in a long time. We are now at Wat Phra Si Sampet. It looked like everything was closed. It's about uh, quarter to five in the afternoon now, but uh, we found someone who allowed us to get in after we showed our tickets. Even in an affluent town like Ayutthaya, child labor is present. We drive to Yomtin Beach, where the shipping agent is located. It's a ride with hurdles. When we want to drive away, lights on the dashboard warn that the battery is not charging. Fortunately, they quickly realize that this is not appropriate and they still jump into line.
After we drive hopelessly wrong in Bangkok, we arrive at a hotel that we booked with Booking.com. The reception is already not friendly. We have to hand in a passport to be allowed to park. We leave with a difference of opinion after it appears that the small print states that the cleaning costs are as high as the room rent. We fortunately find a good alternative. An employee of the shipping agent lives near the hotel. In the lobby, she collects papers and lots of signatures. In the next episode, we travel to Pattaya to prepare the shipment of our camper van. We explore the cheerful and the desolate face of Pattaya.